Hello everyone. I'm at the website is American Right to Life. Um, and this video is going to be about the partial birth abortionist who was killed two or three weeks ago. His name was George Tiller. And I just found uh, these pictures and this story just yesterday, I think a day or two ago. And I decided that, that I wanted to share the information uh, with my Christian friends and everyone here on YouTube of George Tiller. This man was really a monster. He was really evil. Okay, the pictures in this webpage that I found here with on the uh, American Right to Life page, these pictures are really, they sadden me. Uh, they are just, I don't know, it's really, really sad the, what, what, go, what went on in that abortion mill. And I think that George Tiller, he did some of these things to try to alleviate his guilty conscience of what he was doing. But this man, it, it, there's no excuse for him. And I had heard or read that he performed over 60,000 60,000 of these partial birth abortions and someone said that that's more than the uh, number of men who uh, were killed in the Vietnam War uh, on, in, in our military I mean this got 60 60 60,000 babies he did this to this is on the R American Right to Life webpage and I'm gonna put the link up and it's under the George Tiller Memorial. They named it this so that people, if they will do a Google search or something looking for a, a memorial for George Tiller, that it will pull this up and they would click on this and maybe the people would see exactly how horrible this man was. But this is the website, this is the link right here, it's called the George Tiller Memorial. And what it is, is George Tiller he gave memorial services inside of his abortion mills after performing partial birth abortions on the child he offered memorial services for the child to put on before he incinerated the body of these babies but I'm gonna, not going to show all the pictures just maybe the first one and I'm going to read um, the description on those I'm not going to read everything but I'm going to give you the website so you can come over to the website and read and see these pictures for yourself. But I'm going to start reading. It says, The George Tiller Memorial. The Memorial. The late Wichita abortionist George Tiller had offered a memorial service in his facility after he performed a partial birth abortion. The mom and the dad in the pictures below paid George Tiller thousands of dollars to kill Tess, their baby girl. A pro-life sidewalk counselor had failed in her effort to dissuade the mother from entering the abortion mill, but did succeed in giving her address to the mom. After the child's death, the mother and the pro-lifer corresponded and became friends. In that way, a few in the pro-life community obtained these photos in the handwritten letter below. These reveal the mother's pain and provide photographic proof of the depravity of abortionists. This George Tiller Memorial is dedicated to Tess in hopes of a soon victory in the battle against legalized child killing. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this one. This is uh, the lady. Her name is not given, I guess, to protect her. But she poses with baby Tess. This is the mother and that's Tess. And I'm going to read the note here, the hand, uh, handwritten confession. It says, Dear Sharon, and Sharon is the pro-life uh, counselor who was trying to get her to not have the partial birth abortion. But the letter goes, Dear Sharon, thank you for listening. Here are the pictures of Tess. I feel so bad for the smiles on my face in some of the photos. I was in shock. By no means am I happy. To me, Tess was beautiful because she was my daughter. I left the somewhat naked photos out because they are pretty graphic 
and I am also ashamed of letting someone make those horrible marks on her body. What kind of mother am I? I let that butcher slash her up. I was supposed to protect her. Now all I do is miss her. Thanks again. And then the mother's name is blotted out so that you cannot see. Uh, and I'm not going to show it all. But I'm going to read the description on some of these pictures. And you can go to the website and uh, look at them for yourself. Of uh, Inside the abortion mill and the little baby Tess and her mother and the father. It says, little Tess in swaddling clothes with a beautiful rose, a teddy bear, and a picture of Jesus. All implements to soothe the guilty conscience of the parents who have just killed their unique and precious daughter. And then the next picture it says, in this picture, the little girl's daddy is giving her a teddy bear, perhaps for her to play with, and George Tiller's incinerator, which he used to economically dispose of the bodies. And it describes uh, what happens in a partial birth abortion and I'm sure you've already uh, heard or seen um, other news stories of how they do this horrible wicked thing. But I'm going to just skip to the description on the next picture. It says, the mom who here cradled her baby's corpse paid to have her daughter killed because she had cystic fibrosis. Tess now has a sister born in early 2000 who also has cystic fibrosis but the precious little baby sister was spared and not executed for her crime of being sick. The crime? Tess had cystic fibrosis and it says the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation states the most common symptoms are very salty tasting skin, persistent coughing, wheezing or pneumonia, excessive appetite but poor weight gain, and bulky stews. And then the next one it says, it says note the wedding ring on mom. Many a mom who kills her baby is married and financially well off. Of course a poor single woman who kills her baby commits no less of a crime than a wealthy one. In the Old Testament, God condemned the wicked who sacrificed their children, killing them as an offering to the god Molech, who promised them happiness if only the parents would kill their child. With all of man's progress, not much has changed in 3,000 years. And then at the bottom it has uh, this notice, it's photos taken by permission of George Tiller, uh, photos and letter used by permission. So the abortionists, the partial birth abortionists who murdered over 60,000 children had a memorial service in his abortion mill to try to I guess sue the conscience of the parent and also probably to sue uh, his own conscience that being George Tiller but no amount of uh, this takes away from his guilt uh, this man, I mean, how could you do 60,000, over 60,000 partial birth abortions? I mean, again, I think uh, you would have to be demon oppressed or demon possessed to do it. I mean, your conscience would have to be fried, totally seared to be able to do this. It's just terrible. And uh, thank God that this woman, she repented and she is so sorry for what she did to her baby. Perhaps that's why she gave permission to put these pictures up to warn other people and to help them to realize what it is that they're doing. So, and she um, uh, did this for little baby Tess who died at the hands of the abortionist and the murderer who's now gone on to his place, um, George Tiller. Thank you for listening.